Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahar Kakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS. They are, these are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shall I warm also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayala Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And you know, this this lesson is just going to be like a sort of exhortation and encouragement to the brothers who are sincerely walking this walk and also to the few sisters who are sincerely, you know, into this truth. And this lesson is going to be based on the book of Psalm 37. I had in mind a different lesson, but you know everything is given through the spirit so you know, i came across this the scripture and i was like man i just need to do a lesson on this so today i'm going to speak about you know we the sons of israel being patient you know and not following the ways of the wicked of this world because the wicked they have they are they're actually in power right now and speaking of the wicked the wicked is known as esau edom that's his biblical nationality which are the so-called white people in power today so we're not meant to be you know carried away by their by their by their you know one hour of fame one hour of um, enjoyment because right now it's their time to shine you know but once the kingdom is going to be taken away from them then it's going to be our time to shine and this is what the scripture is actually speaking about it's a really beautiful scripture this is a scripture you really want to meditate on so I'm going to start off real quick. It says, this is the book of Psalm chapter 37. It says, fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the wicked workers of iniquity. So as I was saying, you know, the wicked, the world is given into the hands of the wicked as written in the book of um, Job 9, 24. You know, the wicked are actually in power right now. That's why you see wickedness dispersed all around the world, you know. All different kinds of wicked agendas being um being pushed and people are you know freely accepting these ag agendas just like the times of um of noah that's because the wicked are actually in power you know so you don't really need to let this tension because there is a kind of tension living in this world run by the wicked there's a tension like if you don't belong you know you you there's something you're missing out there is there is a slang they usually say if you can't beat them join them you know in our case this is not what we we have to do this is not for us this is not for the children of light the children of light are meant to separate themselves though this um everything is going to seem like maybe it's boring you're living a boring life you're sad and all that thing you know you're not catching as much fun because you know there is something about fun in this world fun is attached to the flesh but you see what i'm going to tell you is you can also have fun in the spirit man you know because when you come into this truth it all takes discipline you discipline yourself and your spirit gets used to being disciplined and you no longer feel those laws of the flesh now i give you an example the brother kalam we both met this weekend okay this past weekend that was it came to my place on saturday and he left on Sunday, you know. So we decided to go to our city, you know. Actually, my city, um, it's about 40 miles. No, what am I saying? About 30 miles, more or less, like, let me put it, 35 kilometers away from where I live. You know, you have a beach. So, you know, there, that's where we actually met. I and the brother at the beginning. And at that time, I was working in a bar, you know, I was a bartender making cocktails and all that thing, you know, had a different kind of life, you know, having all different kinds of 
fun i got into this world you know i was well known clubs and all that thing girls and all that thing you know so we decided that night to go take a visit at the beach you know to check out what was going on so we drove down to the beach to that place you know certain places where we used to hang out and catch fun back in those days but getting to these places our spirits doesn't match with these places anymore <laughs> like we felt lost in these places we couldn't stand the madness we couldn't stand any of this because our spirit has left that world that world was actually for our flesh but now we are, we are living in the spirit and we're new men we're new beings and we, we, we weren't we weren't catching fun anymore we, it wasn't fun anymore and Kalala Yaba Shimiao Shai that we actually decided to do this because we just wanted to see what, what the effect was going to be. But we found out that our spirits was not matching any longer with that lifestyle, you know? As a matter of fact, you know, we just went, we had pizza together, you know, and we we went back home because we couldn't stand it anymore, you know? Before we got back home, I was already sleeping you know our lifestyle no longer matched with that so what am i saying it's all discipline you know this work of ours you have to be disciplined the elder apostles always teach about this starting from the elder apostle taha and the elder apostle gaba the elder apostle ramla the elder apostle raka they always teach us about discipline you have to discipline yourself the word discipline is attached to the word discipleship okay in order for you to be a disciple of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you have to be disciplined. So you see, we walked, we got into this truth, in which we didn't come into this truth by any merit of ourselves. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai made it all possible that we came in contact with this truth. He gave us the spirit to to start walking in this truth to the in the best of our ability, and you know, and all that worldliness just totally disappeared, man. You know. I that I used to be like the life of the party and all that thing. I find myself that I'm a totally different man. Getting into a party, I feel lost. You know? I don't even I don't even go I don't even attend any of those things anymore because my spirit is not at peace in those in such places. This is what discipline means. And we really have to be disciplined in this world that we live in right now because the wicked is in power. If you're not disciplined, it means you're going to accept the whole thing that the wicked pushes to you, you're going to be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. You know, this is a difference between a soldier and 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 and, 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 and an ordinary, ordinary man because this is warfare, man. This is a spiritual warfare. It is it is um the right word is it is the new you fighting against the old you, just like um my natural name is alexander and my new name that i gave myself in this trove is yarayala at first it was yaraya then the elder apostle gabak corrected me and gave me yarayala okay which is the perfect name so it is alexander against yarayala okay it's the old me against the new me and this is what it is and you need to fight this war to the end. I said, I think the Apostle Paul said it. You know, you need to fight this faithful war to the end so you can re re well, you can you can receive a crown, an everlasting crown from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. So don't fall for the whole luxury and the whole glamour that, that the so-called wicked, the so-called white man, wicked Esau Edom that's in power today is doing. And you have majority of our brothers who have subscribed to the wickedness of the so-called white man you know they participate and they, they, they push the wickedness with the so-called white man they are all going to get their judgment when when the time comes you know so going back to the scripture it says fret not thyself because of evil doers neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity you know we should be in this world but not being part of this world and it all has to do with humility. People will laugh at you. People will say different words against you. People will mock you. They will say all different kinds of things. You know, I went through all that thing, you know. 
people start, you know, when I came into this troop, man, before coming into this troop, hey, <laughs> the most that Yaba Shimi Oshai bears me witness, man, I was actually the life of the party, man. I had, I had groups. I moved in groups. You know, I had a group that used that used to follow me. I had like um like what do you call it? You, I had like like um royal um how do you say it? um I had like royal um servants, man. I had um people that would move with me. They would call me, hey, what you doing tonight? If I didn't say we're going here, they wouldn't go anywhere, man. I had people that would come, you know, we gather, we, we, we used to move in groups like 15, 20, you know. We'll go to the clubs and do all different kinds of things. But when I came into this truth, man, these people started filtering themselves away. Because my spirit was no longer matching with that spirit anymore. And this is what it is. I came into this truth. And these people, they they, 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 filter themselves. They left, you know. <laughs> now I find myself being a lonely man. And Kalala Yaba Shimi Shai, this is what this walk is all about. That's what the meaning of a soldier is. It means a solo, solo. You have to be by yourself, man. And you have everything it takes to move on. Because once you have the Holy Spirit, which is the Rukaku Dash, you have every damn thing you need. The Holy Spirit is sufficient and enough. So coming to this truth, people start all the friends that I used to have, girls, boys, and all that, you know, that would call me, hey, where you at? What you doing tonight? And all that thing. If I didn't say we're going here, you know, they wouldn't even move. But you know, me coming to this truth, they saw me like someone that's strange, man. Started backbiting, saying all different kinds of things against against me. All this is expected in this truth. Don't let this thing shake you and move you back into this into this world. Because really, I can tell you, there is nothing in the world actually, man. You know, the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai permitted me to live a certain kind of life. In my past life, I, I actually tried a little bit of every damn thing, man. You know, and the Most High did all this, you know, to be a witness against me. So I can't complain and be like, oh, I'm going to fall back into this world because I didn't try this or I didn't try that. And man, I tried every damn thing. And that's how the Most High Yahweh Shemi Yahushai does. And I can tell you clearly, boldly, truthfully, that there is no damn thing in the world what's this truth, man. You know, what shall a man give our... Um, in exchange for his soul, there is nothing in this world what your salvation. There is nothing in this world what your truth, man. This truth, which is the truth of Yahweh Shai. So you see, when you come into this truth, you become a new person. You become a new being, as written in the scriptures, you know. And now all these have to do with humility, man, you know. You have to humble down, totally humble down, man. Because listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> when I was in the world, man, I was well known in my city, you know, real well known, man, you know. But believe me, I am nothing, man. I am actually nothing. The most I showed me all different kinds of things. I went through hell, man, before getting to this truth, you know. And it all takes humility for you to take all these things. This is how you become a disciple, you know. Discipleship comes through discipline, you know. The most high disciplines you, it tries you, it takes away every damn thing that you have. It makes you start again from square one. Just like Job. Job is a beautiful example. Job was taken back to square one. He had to start all again. But you see, if Job wasn't humble... If he had pride in him, he wouldn't have made it. And Job is a perfect example for each one of us. You know, you need to humble down, humble down. Let's get a quick precept. The book of, um, is it James? James 4, I think, around the fifth chapter. 
Khan. That's the book of James chapter 10. And in chapter 4, verse 10, it says, Humble yourselves in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and he shall lift you up. Humble yourself in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and he shall lift you up. Now, we, we are expecting a, a crown that's not corruptible, a crown that has nothing to do with this world, you know, an uncorruptible crown. We expect him to be part of those rulerships that are going to rule alongside with our savior, Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, you know. Our minds are totally on, on a different level, far away from, from what this world can offer because this world truly has no damn thing to offer. You might get that pleasure that suits the flesh for this time, but trust me, it lasts, no, it's nothing, it's all an illusion, you know. So going back to the scripture of we start with book of Psalm 37, it says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquities. Why? Because it's their time to do so. The time for the sons of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahusha is coming. So don't hurry. This is their time. This is their world. Okay? The rulership, the time, the world of the sons of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahusha is coming and this is what you should your heart should be set on and you see being humble has to do with a lot of things being humble be, be humble in all senses man if you're corrected if you make any error because none of us is perfect if you made make any error and you're being corrected by the leaders of the camp you know certain brothers that you know they correct you hey be humble to receive this correction because if you're not humble Situations are going to happen that you become a demon, man. You know, just like we're seeing certain examples, people who were once rulers in camps, you know, they had so much pride, they get corrected, and that correction, they, they believe they are, they, they are both correction. And you see, the Most High takes his spirit away from such people. This walk, you need humility. First key. So, you know, I actually plan to do, <laughs> to take this lesson a whole different way. But you see, this is the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. It took me totally a whole different way I never even planned to, to speak about, you know. I planned on, you know, going other than this. But, you know, I just stopped at this first verse. But it's all good. I don't want to even make the lesson too long. This is like an encouragement to the, to the brothers like me who are new into this truth. You know, walk in this walk with all humility. Hey, humble down. Don't let anything entice you. Don't think, you know, the hell that we're catching right now, you know, is what's you living the truth, you know, finding excuses. Because this is what that demonic spirit does, you know. Devil comes, um, Satan comes and put all different kinds of ideas in your mind. Uh, you're catching hell, man. It's not worth it and all that thing. Hey. There is nothing but your soul. That kingdom is the main purpose, man. So, it says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in Yahweh Basham Yahushai and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. So you see, I once worked as, 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 as a gardener and I know what it means, you know, cutting the grass, you know, at the beginning, they stand strong, they stand tall, you know, they look, they look strong, you know, they shooting out, but once you cut them, you know, you just have them right there, they dry up, you know, no traces of them anymore. So this is what it is. Well, I'm just going to leave this lesson like that. You know, this is how the spirit has led me. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Kakudash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And Shalom, on to the next one. Shalom.